equipment and all. But it got bad fast. Uh, hello. It wasn't hey, it was just the looting, which started almost overnight. I'm like, I ain't gonna bet on that. Your truce ain't gonna hold. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. I wonder how Boozer's holding up. I guess I should play. I tried to bring him in, I really did, but he, uh, well, put up a hell of a fight, so he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He did. Uh, remember what I said about how we do things around here? Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, 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 St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh, that's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. I need the area secured now. Listen up, I want this. This time I don't I can't. I gotta place a trap on that chopper. Sound off. God, it's just... All good. All good. Can't let him see me. All clear. So what the hell are you boys doing down. here, huh? I think you could stop and fill up at the old Paltrow gas station. In case you didn't see it, it says gas low. Yeah. I'm not see Got it. O'Brien, well, tracker's set. You should be getting to lunch. It wasn't even my turn. Copy that. Hold. Yes, we're reading it loud and clear. O'Brien out. Yeah, you're welcome, O'Brien. Who me is? We've now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites. Including those at Marion Forks, Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road... What, what was that called again? Our Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. The Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You, you finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just asking. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt, you know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. <laughs> Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Ah, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday. 
Brian, Brian, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. Brian, damn it! That tiger being your errand boy, Brian. Going, brother. No, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Thank you, ma'am. You can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc. Doc, seriously though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny. William, lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... As you can see, he's going to be just fine. 
His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Seems like he's uh, getting better. Let me get the gate. a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Shit, you really need a lot of fuel. I'll be here if you need me. Later. Hey, okay. I'll see if I can make time deacon out. Oh, 
Where I'm gonna wait, Angel? No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated, but f okay, fine. I'll chase him down, Deacon out. Oh, shit, there he is. That bitch, man, come on! No, you're not going to get away. You're not taking me alive! You hear me say, John? Going, Lynch man. What is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you. Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <coughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Ricky, I got him. And, uh, what, I'll send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? No, no. I didn't see him. All right. We'll bring him in. Boss Lake out. See you, Lynch man. Copeland, Deacon St. John, come here. Deacon, you out there? Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess, you got a job for me. Okay, uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. It's Deacon. Let him in. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. 
I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo, he can't come with you, he's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike, I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no. Riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Shh. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can ride... No, you're not. Now we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Tricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary... Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh, from the look on your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I'm up in a little town outside of Portland. We work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that meant Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. 
I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's gonna track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky, nothing happened. You didn't say anything? Just, no, no, nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. Dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Oh, well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Mm. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Something. Hmm. Come here, touch this. What? Come on. Okay. Hmm. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. 
How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on, over here. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's never, never. Let's go. Yeah, it's it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. D d see if it's vibrating at all. Feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. These are the ones feeding the lines going south. I have any idea what's wrong with them. No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? Uh, all right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? He's a peeping Tom? I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Eddie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. I had never pissed off a woman who knows how to use his gun. Here, boost me up. Okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. And the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. 
Remember the drill. You light him up, I knock him down. It's been a while, but I remember. Burn it down. Here I come! Ready. visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. The heart of the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Beef. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. He just, um... You never mentioned him before, so... Um, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. Oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you. Back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky. Not now. You can ask me later. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Come on. We gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Deep on. This? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. It was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. You remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Deke. Come on, please. Th 
This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Sure it's them. I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has Bring a treaty. Hey. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? Yes. Hey, boy, hey, keep your head down. Hey, take care. Stop. How long are you going to kill me? Aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? It's over. Freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? In the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Really think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick! Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, I ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go.
Could I stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. You got a long ride. Hey, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the Army. Why were... You want to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, um... To farewell? You grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this... by this old guy named Jack. And, uh, he ran the club. The, uh, well, the press. That's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack. I remember who was there talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down, and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. 